Uh, for fuck's sake, Tim, seriously. Hog in the spotlight, piss off. Go rape the toys in your brother's room, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Your tea's there. Sorry about him, He's a piss he pisses me off sometimes. I'm gonna make a great video here today, rubber band. No, I'm gonna make a great video here today and it's about the area where I work. Woolworths! Apologies if this goes out onto YouTube like it will and anyone in my company sees this. Do not take this the wrong way. I'm just having a laugh. I'm having a laugh! No, anyway. The whole premise of people, customers shopping in shopping centres, right, is, if anything, ridiculous. I mean, there's a whole theory about having a shopping list and it works like a treat, really, and I thoroughly believe in that. And fuck off. And <clears throat> basically, about each customer that comes up and they use the theory of the shopping list, it works fine when they enter the shop, walking through the aisles, one by one going, looking at their list, going, oh, Milo, I need some of that. Oregano, need some of that. Oh, um, what else do I need? Oh yes, two litres of light milk, here it is. I mean, these aren't all in the same aisle, but you get the idea. They follow the list and it seems to work. Now, I work behind the deli mostly. Can you not? I work behind the deli mostly, and <clears throat> this is the part which gets me. After doing all that shopping, even in the produce aisle, they go around going, oh, cucumbers, I mean, like courgettes, sorry, need those, yep, got them. Oh, onions, yeah, looking at the list. Soon as they get to the deli, this is what happens. Right, got most of my stuff, don't need you anymore. <sighs> Come on! For every other part of your shopping, you need a shopping list, but as soon as you get to the deli... Can you not? Tim. But as soon as you get... <laughs> as soon as you get to the deli, customers, you get rid of the whole theory of the shopping list. You chuck it away on the floor. Why? Do you come up to the deli and do that? Because then you take time when we're trying to serve other customers, and especially when it's busy, and you stand around in front of the deli suddenly after having a great idea of exactly what you wanted throughout the rest of the store. I saw you about f not even 30 seconds ago in the produce style, picking, reading a list and picking up something and then moving on. Then as soon as you approach me and everyone else who's working behind the deli counter, this is what happens. Ooh, really, I'm not too sure what I want. I'm having dinner tonight, but I'm not too sure. I might go for some bacon. Actually, no, wait, I saw some chicken over there. I might have some of that instead. Yes, can I have a, mm, ooh, a kilo? Maybe 500 grams. Let's go 700 grams of chicken. Halfway through making the chicken, grabbing the chicken. Actually, no, wait, I'm not about that, actually. I might just have some ham instead. Yeah, I'll... I'll I'll get a chicken, I'll get like a, I'll get a whole chicken from elsewhere. I'll get some ham. Uh, how much ham would you like? Ooh, um, ooh. Now this is the really annoying thing, when instead of giving it in weight, they do this. Can I have about like five dollars worth? I'm not a mathematician, I work behind the deli. You, the job description for working behind the deli in Woolworths is online on the site. It's clearly not state you need to be a qualified mathematician to have the job. So why on earth are you making me work shit like this out? <laughs> and even then they dawdle on and go, actually, I'll have some olives instead. Fuck off and use a list. Seriously. Alright, and that's not the worst part. When they get to the registers is when it reaches the climax. That's how shopping works, I feel. It's like a... It's like a process. It all starts off well and it turns to shit the more and more you get into the show supermarket. And this is what happens when customers reach the registers. Hi, would, uh, just paying for that with card? Yes, please. Oh, would you like some cash out, by the way? Actually, yes, I would. Um, can I have $30 out? Or, uh, also, I'm going to need about 16 $1 coins with that as well. That's right, people. It's not a bank. <laughs> There's no sign outside the front of Woolworths that says, Welcome to Woolworths, in combining with now their new partners, Commonwealth Bank, with their new partners, Commonwealth Bank, because that's not how it works, honestly. 30, what, this is actually a true story. I have a friend of mine 
who works at the same Woolworths I do, and he was once on the registers, and a woman came up to him and asked for $60 out in chain and cash out, oh, and also $31 coins on top of that. See what I mean? It's not a bank, and if that sock puppet goes near me one more time, I'm going to throw it and the current person who's holding it through the window. <laughs> no, but back to what I was saying. It's not a bank, people, so stop treating it like a bank, okay? There's actually, believe it or not, a Commonwealth Bank just one block away from my, my store. So why on earth you're going on your weekly shopping trip and not stopping off at the bank when you know you need money out is beyond me. Maybe it's because there's a few differences, in case you couldn't tell. For one, we have discounts at supermarkets. There are no discounts at a bank. You have miscounts, and that's only when the coin machine breaks down. <sighs> And deals, okay, you go through these aisles of sh supermarkets and you see deal posters and deals and bargains all the way throughout the store. Saying stuff like, two for one, a packet of Arnott's Tim Tams, buy now, two for one, or mega pack, cheaper. You would never see that in a bank, would you? You would never go to a bank and see posters and deals saying, two for one, for this weekend only, buy one house mortgage and get the second one absolutely free. That's not how it works. Also, as I said before, there's a de there's different departments at a supermarket. There's only one department, really, at a bank. There's no such thing as a deli counter in a bank. You don't walk up into a bank and see a glass cabinet area where people are standing there, and there's like a sort of selections of coins and notes and so on, and they don't go up there going, oh, can I have about um, 10 one dollar coins? Actually, no way. Can I have about like... Seven, five dollar. Oh, wait, actually, I saw some 50 cent coins down the line now. I might have that instead. All the while, and all the while, after all that shit happens, they still don't use a fucking list. Peace out, people.